Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in 1 Kings chapter 5 verse 17, Romans chapter 5 verse 3, and Acts chapter 8 verse 18, 8 verse 17. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful word. Lord God, help us to receive it and have wisdom and understanding in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 17. At the king's command, they quarried out, out great costly stones in order to lay the foundation of the house with dressed stones. So this is a replica of the temple um, that is in heaven. We know that the temples that were created on earth were replicas of the temples that are in heaven, the, the temple, the heavenly temple. And so um, the great city of God um, is not built with human hands. And so we are looking forward to the city that is to come, right? We know that there is, is great joy in that city. And, and the foundations um, are made of these costly stones. So this is a reflection of that. Remember the, the different types of stones, which represented um, uh, the different tribes of, uh, is the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. And so the second verse that the Lord gave me was Romans chapter five, verse three, not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance. All right. So as we go through what we go through on this earth, um, it, it's considered suffering, right? In, in a lot of ways, you you go through the trials of life and God wants you to endure. He wants you to glorify him as you go through it, right? And so as you do that, you know, that temple, that heavenly temple, which was being built, the, the heavenly riches that we're going to see, the heavenly stones, the costly stones, the things that are going to be judged at the Bema Sea judgment, all of these things um, that we're building up as we are enduring, as we are rejoicing in our suffering, as we are building up our character, as we are producing hope, all of these things have heavenly significance, right? And so we need to make sure that we are listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit as it leads us and guides us into all truth in the way we should conduct ourselves in this world. Everything that we do here is a reflection of something that is occurring in heaven. I once told you guys about how the Holy Spirit, I had grieved the Holy Spirit one time in, um, I've, I've probably grieved the Holy Spirit multiple times in my life, but I'm saying in this one particular circumstance where he showed me that I had lost a great fortune um, speaking to this woman. And I had heard the Holy Spirit say, move or, or get up and move or something like that. And so I got up physically and moved, but I did not remove my Myself from that situation I continued to speak to this woman and um the Lord showed me that I had lost a great fortune but it was uh he showed me it as being pearls to the swine that I had lost a lot of costly pearls and later that night he gave me vision after vision of me recovering um recovering these pearls and so um one of them was a humongous pearl and I had seen it in a vision and I was like so this is like real like that I was so surprised that this was something literal and I realized then that what we do here has such great significance right what we do in this world we see these little words in the bible and we think oh you know um things that won't last at the bema seat will burn up like the the straw and the things that that just burn up on fire and and these things that are like costly, you know, stones and stuff, most likely won't or gold or something like that. But these things have actual significance. These are things that are actually being manifested in the spirit and they are true. They are treasure. They are real, right? And they may not be real on this side, but they're real in heaven. And so we need to realize that as we're going through, as we're enduring the sufferings of our life, that 
this, the sufferings of this world are temporary, right? They are temporary. But as we go through these trials, we need to rejoice and let Holy Spirit lead us and guide us into all truth in our conduct, in the way that we should act, um, in the way that we should act in these, these, um, circumstances, right? putting our rejoicing as a priority, right? Um, not allowing the circumstance to dictate to us, but for us to dictate to each situation and each circumstance. It says not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance. All right. And so the third verse that the Lord gave me was Acts chapter eight, verse 17, then they laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. All right. So these were people who were once following um, uh, other other things that they thought were God people, you know, who were counterfeits. These were people who came into the saving knowledge of Jesus. And guess what? They received the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you into all truth. Otherwise, you're going to fall for the counterfeits. You're going to fall and 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 just be constantly throwing the good things that God has given you to the swine, the pearls to the swine, right? So you need Holy Spirit to guide you and you need to listen to that guide, right? After a few times of losing some stuff, you'll be a little bit quicker to to ask Holy Spirit and speak slowly, right? You'll you'll I, I speak a lot slower now, right? I I don't tell everybody everything, right? I I make sure that I am chastened in my words and I'm guided more by the Holy Spirit as to who to speak to, what to say, and when to say what I need to say. Amen. So it is very important because everything that we do here has spiritual implications in heaven, right? You think something is small and you realize, hey, I built a house with just a few words, right? I, I furnished this house with just a few words, right? These things are costly stones and, and they do don't, they're not costly stones as in, oh, it's going to be on the gym network, right? This is something that has eternal significance, right? And we need to take them seriously because everything that we do is a small replica of what is being built in heaven, right? The, these things were quarried out of the ground at great cost, right? They they cost human labor. Remember, they the, this these things were pulled from the earth with, with slave labor done in shifts. Forced labor is what they called it, right? So these, this is how we live. We live as servants of the most high God, right? And so as servants, but as heirs. So we need to remember that what we are doing is not just pulling out stones um, for someone else. They are having implication on how we live in the city to come. Amen. All right, you guys, The what we're doing is good going to cause the city to come to be even more beautiful follow the direction of the holy spirit live and and be led by holy spirit and as you endure the sufferings of daily life you know rejoice in the lord knowing that he is birthing great things in you that are going to have eternal significance amen all right you guys let's pray thank you father god for love Thank you for sending your son. We say thank you. Thank you for healing, wholeness, and guidance in our lives, Lord Jesus. Thank you for helping us to remember Holy Spirit, to rejoice when we are going through. We glorify your name, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If um, you all be blessed and take care.